A podcast is gaining nationwide attention and shining a spotlight on an Illinois murder case. Lauren Bright Pacheco is the writer, executive producer, and host of Murder in Illinois. Lauren joins me now to talk about where the case is at now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us today. Well, Lauren, how and why did the Christopher Vaughn case end up on your radar? At the time, I was specializing in true crime for a daytime show. And this case popped up in my news feed. It was the 10 year anniversary. And it caught my eye because I'd never heard of it before. And I was surprised and shocked because it was a heartbreakingly tragic story that involved an entire family, um, a good-looking, affluent family, and that's the kind of thing that usually makes headlines across the nation, particularly when it's a family annihilator case. And the deeper I dug into the story and the case and the different factors that surrounded the arrest and the trial, the more intrigued I became because it became immediately apparent that there were red flags left and right. And I questioned whether or not Christopher Vaughn was rightfully convicted. What have been the biggest obstacles in revisiting the case? It was a delicate thing to revisit, but as I said, in the beginning, you know, my intention and my integrity always revolved around the fact that if Christopher Vaughn was wrongfully convicted, that was the only thing that could make this tragic story even more tragic. And obviously there has been a lot of online chatter and criticism about the views expressed by Christopher Vaughn's family in the podcast. What are your thoughts? I understand it, you know, um, but at the same time, I know that were a loved one of mine accused of what Chris was convicted of, I would be very angry and I would have very complicated feelings. And it's not my job as a journalist um, to monitor or sanitize the viewpoint of the people I interview. It is to present it in a very honest, authentic way. And that's what I strove to do. Well, Lauren, can you reveal any developments in terms of where Vaughn's case stands today? I spoke with Jed Stone, who is Christopher Vaughn's very capable and very charismatic attorney who um, stepped forward and took on this case pro bono. And, you know, Jed likes to say that the law loves finality more than it loves justice. And unfortunately, it is going to be very difficult to have the Will County State's attorney revisit this case. I can tell you that uh, Jed Stone is preparing a petition for clemency, which he is filing in the spring. And there is currently a petition for clemency for Christopher Vaughn that has about 5,000 signatures. And his mother has been diligently collecting those signatures to hopefully present to the governor of Illinois or the attorney general. And I did receive a statement from the Will County State's attorney. It said, quote, Vaughn had annihilated his family. Nothing has changed. Vaughn has simply concocted a new meritless fabrication after a podcaster befriended him and took up his case in an attempt to gin up new listeners. I also reached out to the governor's office and received no response as of this morning.